I worked in the anim animation industry for a little bit. I interned at Cartoon Network, Disney, I, uh, Nickelodeon. I've interned at a lot of places. I know a lot of people uh, that are inside the animation industry, games industry, all that kind of stuff. I'm currently working in the game in the game industry right now, and uh, yeah, it's um, it's been work. I've been working in the game industry for more than ten years now. So, um, the thing is, there's a lot of creepos in the animation industry. There are a lot of creepos in the games industry. And there's a lot of creepos definitely in Hollywood. Yo, what's going on? Iron Oxide. Hope you're doing well, man. There's a lot of creepos in the animation industry, especially. Now, the reason why I'm highlighting the animation industry is because this came this comes to us from last uh, last week. And this comes to us from USA Today. Cartoon Network Mighty Magiswords creator Kayo Carroza or Carroza arrested on child porn charges. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. And here's the thing. This guy sort of looks familiar. This guy sort of looks familiar. Like, I actually, I might have, I might have ran into him from a couple, couple times before. Okay, so let, right over here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. A Cartoon Network series creator has been arrested on child pornography charges. Kyle Carroza, an animator who created the television series Mighty Magiswords and worked on multiple Cartoon Network, Disney, PBS, Kids, and Nickelodeon shows, was arrested in Bourbon, California, June 20th on two child pornography possession charges, according to Burbank Police Department arrest records. Here's the thing. The, the fact that we have these pedophiles and these crazy people who who are assaulting kids have such easy access to little kids. Mr. Beast with Chris Tyson. 80, I'm, I guarantee you 85 to 75 percent of Mr. Beast's um, audience are little kids. Now, this guy who makes cartoons for a living has close access to little kids because he makes stuff for little kids, right? Not surprising, right? This is insane. In a statement provided to USA Today Tuesday, the Burbank Police Department confirmed Carroza's arrest and that the police served him a search warrant. After a review of Carroza's case, Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office filed one count of possession of over 600 images of child pornography, the department said. My God, dude. US, USA Today reached out to Carroza's rep and Cartoon Network for comment. Carroza, 45, has worked on as a storyboard artist and animator on several cartoons, including Adventure Time, the 2020 Animaniacs reboot, Doc McStuffins, and the miniseries spinoff, The Doc Files, Fish Hooks, Fanboy and Chum Chum, Danger Rangers, and Teen Titans Go!, he also worked on as an animator on SpongeBob the movie Sponge Out of Water. Wow. Mighty Magiswords was a Cartoon Network's first online original series debuting in 2015. The show premiered as a full-length TV series in 2016 and ended in 2019. Carroza also served as a voice actor, voicing over dozens of characters, including one of its main characters, uh, Prohias Robert Warrior, as well as composer... An executive producer of series of the series, California possession of child pornography can be can be either a misdemeanor or a felony and carries a sentence of up to one year in county jail or three years in state prison or and or a twenty five hundred dollar fine. It, this goes deeper, man. Right over here. I found this on Newgrounds out of all places. Chat, if you guys don't know Newgrounds. Has a lot of uh, Flash games I used to play back in the day. And you guys know what Flash games I'm talking about. You guys know what Flash games I'm talking about. Here we go. It says right here, I know how Kyle Carroza was arrested. Edit. I was so fucking right. Someone I know spoke with Lindsay and confirmed it was his Google Drive. Holy shit, Kyle. I hope you unalive yourself or... I hope you are not alive. I can't say that word, just in case. You made a mistake being friends with me. I caught you red-handed. If you guys don't know, Lindsay is his spouse. 
If you guys don't know, Lindsay is his spouse. I'm rewriting this journal for a better grammar and updated info. You can view older versions of the uh, on the internet archive. On June 20th, Kyle Carosa, a creator of Mighty Magiswords and Moo Bre uh, Moo yeah Moo Beard, the cow pirate, was arrested for owning uh, C C S E M child sexual abuse material. So, so, specifically 12 videos or 600 images of abuse material possibly of sadistic and masochistic nature which can include torture and snuff what the hell man he was let go on bail for $75,000 on June 25th and his final court hearing will be July 25th which is tomorrow we do not have his mugshot and do not know his court hearing will be recorded. The arrest was due to investigation by the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. Damn, here it is. $75,000. The bail boys bailed him out. It's a sure, surety bond. I used to be Kyle's friend due to him going to, uh, to the same school as my parents, who he is quite close with. I almost worked on projects of his such as remake of Moo Be uh, Moo uh, sorry Moo Beard pilot with a small indie studio sick mutt. Uh, thankfully, I never ended up working for him. The studio disbanded before any progress could be made and ended up saving us all in the ass. L last year, Kyle's name got into controversy over allegedly blacklisting an artist by the name of Angela Vondra for drawing Shotokan hentai. For those who don't know what that is, it's a subgenre in the Japanese anime pornographic material featuring underaged boys. Specifically, Angela drew straight shodas, which is pairing an adult woman with little boys or shotas. Angela was not fired from working on Magisword because this is since the controversy happening uh, long after the show has ended. What Kyle did was send the porn to other people so they were warned about Angela's actions. Kyle was then accused of pushing Angela to suicide, although she's still alive. Wow, she, he, this guy's insane. During the height of this in 20, uh, September 2023, Kyle's Google account was coincidentally permanently suspended for, quote, no reason. I was told by some that Angela took credit for it going down, but strong, I strongly doubt this because we can report someone's Google Drive, only YouTube channel, uh, only YouTube channel, and there's a huge difference between your YouTube being suspended versus your entire Google account. That would also imply somehow Angela knew about the CSEM on his drive, which is completely ridiculous. Kyle's whole Google account was wiped. Drive channels, everything. It even went, had his bank information and credit cards. He basically used a drive for everything. I talked with my parents who are very close with Kyle and they confirmed that Kyle was subscribed to Google One, Google Drive service that gives you more space to back up your files. Wow. How much stuff did this guy have? Right? He had everything on the drives, literal decades worth of work and God's know what. So this is an actual screenshot from Kyle Carroza. Uh, hey, folks, my Google account got borked and with it went my YouTube. I have started a new one and added most of the major stuff. If there's something I missed, you'd like this to return. Let me know. Link in the comments. Wait, is he still on X? Is he still on X? Kyle. Kyle Jenner. At least get the fuck out of here. Uh. Oop, I spelled his name wrong. Uh, people. Okay, he, he his, his, his stuff is, uh, he's protected. He's protected. Yeah, so this is his account. Okay. Man. Man, was this Kyle Carosa attempted to resist, but was tasered, knocked down, restrained, and arrested. 16 terabytes of illegal child abuse content were discovered on his computer and several hard drives, cementing him as one of the history's most devious pedophiles. Cartoon Network. Okay, it was community noted right over here. 
There's no report of Carroza possessing 16 terabytes of child abuse content. Only a report of 600 images, which is still banned nonetheless. Damn. Holy crap, man. This is crazy. Okay, here's another one that I found. I'm sure you all know about news about Kyle Carroza and what happened prior to the arrest. To say I'm angry would be an understatement. For 20 years, I've studied, I've studied under him and practically saw him as more as than my mentor. But the older brother I always wanted. Only to find out I was being groomed and I didn't know. People warned me about him. And of course... Like, an, like the idiot I was, I chose not to believe them. After seeing many stories coming out, I felt sick and betrayed. The people I doubted uh, detest me because I was so close to him. Regardless, my heart goes out to the victims who were, who were also groomed by this monster. I will no longer associate with Kyle Carroza or any of his projects. I don't want anything to do with him. Okay, I have his IMDB pulled up. I want to see what this guy worked on. Actually, what this guy worked on. Okay. Camp Snoopy. Fairly odd parents with a black kid. So that was Snoopy Show. Animaniacs reboot. There it is. Unikitty. Storyboard artist. Mighty Magisort, which is his, uh, his show on cartoon. Clarence. Oh my fucking god. I, I've seen this guy before. I knew it. I knew I've seen this guy before. Clarence was in production when I was an intern at Cartoon Network. I've seen this guy before. No wonder why he looks so fucking familiar. No wonder why he looks so familiar. I've seen this guy before in person. Here's another one right up here. I brought this up. So right over here. This is at you McCon's guest. Kyle Carroza has been accused of horrendous acts that have left a fellow animator on the brink of death. Also, this is the Angela incident. Uh, Yuma Khan guest Kyle Carroza is accused on Twitter X of egregious acts of harassment, stalking and defamation against a fellow colleague leading to dire consequence. The victim, Ang, I'm assuming it's Angela, is reported to be in life-threatening conditions due to the relentless actions of alleged, bu uh, alleged abuser. Yet, Yuma Khan censors and silences hundreds of warnings. Kyle Carroza maliciously assessed private and sensitive not safe for work vent artwork Created by Angela, a disabled animator featuring cartoon characters, Invader Zim. Using his influence, Carroza reportedly, oh sorry, purportedly orchestrated Angela's ter uh, termination from employment and subsequently blacklisted him within the industry through a deliberate campaign of slander. Fuck, man. Good thing our mouth is tight. Yeah, he's probably not into Chinese guys. Furthermore, he repeatedly, reportedly sub subjected Angela to public humiliation by disseminating this private artwork among their coworkers and acquaintances, all while fabricating damaging falsehoods about Angela's character. Wow, so he basically distributed porn to people. Not just, not just regular porn, CP. The consequences of these actions have been devastating. Angela has lost vital health insurance coverage, critically necessary for her health. The medical treatment required is not only exorbitantly expensive, but also demands specialized care, making it tragically inaccessible. Angela's life hangs in a balance due to these circumstances. While Kyle Carroza's alleged actions continue to shield him from accountability that such severe offenses demand. What adds to the gravity of the situation is the concerning silence of Yumacon. Despite the community's outcry and warnings, Yumacon has reportedly ignored and censored hundreds of comments alerting them to this issue. Furthermore, attempts to directly contact Yumacon seem to have been met with futility, as they can no longer be reached, leaving concerned individuals without a means to address this serious matter. So this is last year. Oh, man. So I have this other one over here. If you actually look over here, Nick, Nickelodeon has a fandom website for him, and it's still up. It is still up. But here's the thing, though. They did put this right over here. And on June 20th, 2024, Carozo was charged and arrested for possession of child pornography. You should... I'm glad... Okay, if it's still here, I'm glad they have this. Cart I, ha I pulled up the Cartoon Network one as well. Does it show uh, 
right now? What's happening right now? There it is. Yeah, arrest. In June 2024, Carroza was charged and arrested for possession of over 600 images of child pornography. Good. Good. I do want to go bring this over here. This is actually... This is right over here. This is from Andy No. Shout out Andy No. This is right over here. Um, this is from a couple of days ago as well. So this is his uh, inmate information. So Kyle Carroza, middle name is Adam. Uh, right over here. Date he was booked, everything. Oh my God. Just look at this guy, man. I've seen this guy before, dude. Oh my God. I've seen this guy before in person. Probably. The thing is that I, I was working on Ben 10 at the time. And Clarence was in the other building, which is basically like, which is basically like the next, the, the neighboring building. So I was in the B, I was in the big black building, right? I was in the BB, the BBB. Uh, that's where, um, what's it called again? Um, the other shows were located. So the show that I was working on, like I said, Benton Omniverse was the one I was, I was working on. And then um, uh, Clarence, I believe was on the third floor. I believe, yeah, I believe on the third floor of the main building, which is crazy, which is absolutely crazy, man. Oh my God, dude. Oh, geez, man. This guy looks like that type too. Oh, geez. Oh, look at him, man. Oh my God. Just look at this guy, dude. Oh man. So here's the thing. I did pull him up. So this is my own personal Facebook account. Okay. When you go, he, I believe he actually removed everything. Every, uh, he, he removed all of his, um, he deleted most or all of his social media accounts. Like he's not on LinkedIn anymore. I checked. He's not on, uh, his, even his, um, what's it called? A portfolio online portfolio is gone. And, um, his Instagram is not there in, anymore. His Facebook account is still there, but it's empty. Now, I, just for shits and giggles, right before we started, I just, I just put in Kyle A. Carroza on, uh, on Facebook, and I have eight mutual friends. I have, like I said, I have came across this guy before. I've came across this dirt bag before. And the thing is, tomorrow is his court hearing. Right, he is considered a felony, though. It, he is a felon. Uh, I believe there's. Uh, let's see, I believe it should say type right here, charge level type felony. So this guy is a felon for sure. So I've I've seen this guy before for sure, one hundred percent. 